Okay, guys, welcome to uh, session number three of uh, the maths um, program. Uh, today, we're going to look at indices, another majorly important topic at A level. You've all covered this at GCSE, so it's a bit of a refresher, but you need to get really, really good at these. Um, so that's what today's, uh, well, that's what the session is uh, today. Okay, again, when you finished it, I'll, there are some questions. I want you to do all of the questions, please, including the extend. Uh, right, here we go. So indices, now there are a number of rules you need to remember um, about indices, and I'm just gonna list them, there's six in total. So uh, the rules are as follows. So rule number one, a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. Rule number two, a to the m over a to the n equals a to the m minus n. Rule number three, a to the m uh, to the power of n is you multiply the powers, okay? Number four, anything to the power zero is one. Rule number five, uh, anything to a fraction is equal to uh, a to the m, so the top bit, and then to the nth root. We'll look at an example of that one in a minute. And the final one is a to the neg anything to the negative power, you do one over of that value uh, to the same power. So there's eight, six rules there. Okay, that is those are the fundamental rules of indices uh, that you really need to note down and learn and recognize. Okay, so pause the video if you need to just copy those out. Okay, the examples um, today, e.g. one, so calculate or evaluate. Um, 9 to the half, uh, 2, uh, 27 to the negative 2 thirds, 3, simplify, 6 to the 5 over 2 to the 3, um, 4, let's go down this side write as a single uh, power of x. So write as a single power of x. The first one, 1 over 3x. And the second one there, 4 over root x. Okay, so you might want to pause the video at this point and have a go yourself and see if you can work these out. Um, but I'm just going to go through the answers now. So. 9 to the half, now half means square root, so that's this root of 9, which is simply 3, okay? Now by definition, to the power of a half only really gives, it means the positive square root, so you wouldn't include minus 3 for that example there. Okay, 27 to the minus 2 thirds, well the first thing you need to do is do 1 over 27, because it's negative, and then you make that 2 thirds. Okay, so you make it one over to get rid of the negative. You then, the best thing to do is do the cube root first. So if you cube root that first and then square it, that's the same thing. So the cube root of one over 27, cube root the top, which is one, cube root the bottom, which is three. So one over three squared, which is gonna be one over nine. Okay, so that's your final answer. Um, question number three, simplify this. Uh, algebraic expression. We do the numbers first, 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then because you're dividing the powers, you subtract them. So that's going to be 3x squared. Okay, 3x squared. Um, right, the final two here. Write as a single power of x. So that just means x to the power of something. Okay, you are allowed a, a, um, you are allowed a sort of a coefficient in front of the x. So what this is, we've got an x on the bottom there. That's what I don't want. So I need, I'm going to keep the third. That's the same as writing a third because it's one over x. It's the same as doing a third times one over x. And a th one over x is the same as x to the minus one. So my answer here would be a third x to the minus one. Okay, that's my answer to that one. This one, again, I'm going to split it up. Um, I'm third, so it's going to be 4 times 1 over 
root x, okay? I'll just split it up there, which is the same as four times one over x to the half, if I change the root to a half, and that's the same as four times x to the minus half. And then I can just tidy it up by saying four um, x to the minus half. So that would be how I would answer that question there. Okay, so a few examples there. Hopefully all fairly uh, familiar from GCSE. Um, I then I now want you to do the practice questions on this topic. Okay, all the practice questions as as ever. Okay, including the extend at the bottom. So all practice questions, please, um, and then upload to uh, OneNote. Okay. Right uh, there you go. That's on indices. Uh, well done, guys, and uh, tune in for session four shortly. Okay. Well done.